Hello, hello, I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm Leslie, I'm the evening news anchor for KCEN Channel 6 here in Temple, Texas, and I wanna thank you for clicking on this video. So this is a brand new series we are starting here at Channel 6 for our YouTube page. It's called Beauty Tip Tuesday, and it's basically a chance for me to talk about one of my favorite topics, beauty. So skincare, makeup, hair care, really anything that just makes us feel and look our most vibrant, beautiful selves. So today I am showing you the way I do my hair for the 5, 6, and 10 p.m. newscast. We'll call it my TV anchor hair tutorial. And it comes with a little bit of a hint, guys. Not all my hair. You'll find out if you stay tuned. Okay, first things first though, make sure you subscribe. Hit the little button down below, the little bell, so you never miss a Beauty Tip Tuesday. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on social media? All my links are below. That way we can continue the conversation. Okay, time for the video, enjoy. So, I'm gonna be honest, I have a secret. And this is her. Hair extensions, guys. It is not just my normal hair that you are seeing on the television every night. Sorry to bust your bubble, but that's the truth of it. Um, my hair is naturally pretty thin, and uh, if I was just to use my own natural hair, I would feel like it would get really damaged, and it just would never be as full as it could be with my hair extension. You know, and I haven't named her yet. I used to, I used to wear a wig. I used to wear a wig on TV. I did that for probably two years. Um, one's name was Cassandra and the other name for the wig was Angelique. Two different wigs. So I don't know. I feel like I kind of need to name her. But we haven't gone around to it yet. This is, by the way, the Halo Couture Layered Halo in 427. However, I did get it custom colored to my own hair color thanks to my amazing hairstylist Brittany Parker who is in Temple. Shout out to Brittany if you're looking for something to do your hair. So first things first, let's get this hair halo in. I've brushed her out, made sure the little wire is not um, facing down. We don't want to pull it. I'm just going to brush her out. Unfortunately, the hair halo really holds curl really well. This is from last night. See how well my hair held curl, right? Not at all. So with this, I don't think it's called like a rat tail brush or something comes with the set. I'm going to go just a little bit farther back from the top of my hair, hairline. We're going to pull that halfway up. I'm going to have to look behind me, maybe behind you. See if I got that right. I think I did. Okay. This up in a bun. Okay. So you see I have some of my hair down, most of it up. This guy is genius. It is on a little, I guess it's like a fishing wire. Pretty invisible. Two hooks. Make sure they are in correctly. Put that right into the line of that part. Pull her down. You can see she's really long. Sorry. Bra strap. We're getting personal here. Um, and yeah, pretty long. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna brush that part again. And so the point is to really make this look as seamless as possible. And since I do this every single day, pretty much, I can kind of eyeball it by feel. But I am, one second, I'm gonna grab this mirror make sure I have gotten all of the little parts where they need to be. Yep, see? Now, you can kind of see right there. And I don't really ever know how to make that go away. So, fortunately, it's not really that visible. Okay. Now we're going to put the top layer of my hair back up into a little ponytail. If I had a clip, I would do that. But that's just because... I'm going to put a couple more hair extensions in here in a minute and then tease everything. We'll be good to go. So this is my absolute favorite brush. It is by Wet Brush. It is so, so comfortable. It doesn't pull and it's great for detangling. I first got this when I was wearing wigs 
and now that I am wearing extensions which are real human hair and they're very expensive and I don't want to mess them up I really try to do as much as I can to make them be as make the brushes be as gentle as possible and I think this is a one inch curling iron by baby bliss pro and what we're doing is we're taking small sections and I like it to be in a gentle wave so away from my face I try to go as far down as I can and hold it for just a little bit and sometimes it pulls out like that when I move around I have this on kind of like a medium heat because again this hair extension is very expensive I don't want to ruin it I want it to last as long as possible hope hopefully I can use it for about a year and then I will replace it but yeah and you can kind of see while I'm curling that the ends of my hair down here like that's the hair extension because my hair is just probably this much shorter than the hair extension so this is my hair and then that's the hair extension so you want to make sure definitely to get my hair all the way down to the bottom because you want to curl my natural hair in with the hair extension so yeah this is kind of the look that I have been rocking for the last probably just about the last year I switched over if you are a loyal Casey and follower thank you so much you're awesome uh, I switched over from wearing the wig to my natural hair natural hair plus extension last February so February 2018 and I also made the switch to a center part and guys you probably don't know what I'm talking about girls you do if you have been parting your hair on the side forever like I did for my entire life and then you're trying to train your hair to part in the middle it was a fight it was a fight I seriously watched like a million YouTube videos on how to train a cowlick because I have one right here and how to do the center part wave and you know if you've checked out my uh, Beauty Tip Tuesdays before my get ready with me's you know I'm a big fan of the Kardashians they're beautiful whether you love them whether you hate them for whatever reason that's neither here nor there but like their hair is what this hair is I mean that's that's how I style my hair it's the Kardashian look as closely as I can possibly get it to there step one almost complete okay step two secondary little hair extension so this was a hair extension that I used to own and uh, I stopped wearing it so I decided to DIY some little clip-in hair extensions so I sewed these on first I cut it apart sewed these on and I have about six of them that I rotate in and out and they're each about one to two inches wide and I put them strategically right at this point in my head because that's where I want there to be more volume but I found that if I tease right there, I mean, my hair just will break off completely. This is the new product I've been trying. I love it. It is by Joyco Hair Shake. We just have the Oscars, okay? So I've been following Lady Gaga's hairstylist, and he is obsessed with these products, and he used this product on her hair for the Grammys. And I was like, yay! Same, okay? So this is actually a liquid to powder texturizing finisher. I don't know it's easy to apply it's a spray that's kind of my love for it put it right there put it on this side and then I just use my fingers to rub it in a little and it feels it feels wet in the beginning and then it dries and I don't wash my hair every day so I still have some in from yesterday so just giving it a little bit of, of volume okay now we're gonna tease just a little because this is where we're gonna put that hair extension in just tease it down a little I'm gonna have to look over here because of the big mirror this side too tease one two three and then we're gonna put this guy in on this side it's kind of just like right over my ear 
You see how much fuller that makes that look right there? It's really giving fullness right there versus on this side. See how it's a little bit, works a lot. Love it. Again, just kind of like right over the ear part, clicking that down. And then I'm gonna take this down. This is my upper layer. Brush her out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back and get the Joyco again. Up in the top. My little teasing comb. Down, down, down. Okay, don't worry. It's not gonna look that crazy on TV. Although kind of sometimes I wish that I could do that. Because you know what? This is Texas. We all know the phrase, the higher the hair, the closer to God. It's real life. Okay. Now we're gonna curl these little bits. And I usually do them in two. Um, let's get the back one first. And I will kind of blend that in with that hair extension too. Same thing, away from my face. Because what I've been told is that just really frames your face better than if you curled it into the face. Took me a long time to get that down, I'm not gonna lie. But some days are better than others, you know? Clip, away, away. I really gotta be careful on these because this is all my natural hair. I do not like it to be on the thing for long. And you're not really wanting to curl right there. You're almost wanting a wave, you know? Okay, off of this side, grabbing the back part first. Get that little hair extension in there as well if you can. <laughs> While that's in there, you can just kind of try to tame this side. pretty good looking pretty good now, I don't like to use a lot of hairspray because um, I'm gonna be honest I kind of fiddle with my hair a lot and uh, there are days when I feel like I really need to use the hairspray but I'm gonna be honest I ever since I started using the Joyco stuff this guy the need for hairspray has gone significantly down, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, let's check this with the mirror. Tame the bump. And this is pretty much my TV hair. Now the other product that I have been using that I really like, um, I have had so much problems with static lately. Ugh, highly annoying. It is this. I have no idea how to uh, pronounce this, aquage. A-Q-U-A-G-E. Aquage is a detailing cream. And I literally use the teeniest amount. So this is probably going to last me like two years. Hope. Hopeful. A little bit on the fingertips. And then I will just kind of go over the top part. I don't want it to like make anything flatter. Because like I said, I like my hair to feel very full. But this kind of just helps it. I feel like not have so much static. And that's the finished look. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching this video on my TV Anchor hair tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use, just make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can hit me up on social media. See you guys next Tuesday.